Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I'm featuring the On the Farm bundle over on my blog. I've got a fun little baby card for you today. Um, this is a great bundle from the Spring 2022 catalog. Look how many dies there are. You've got dies that cut out little individual animals as well as dies that cut out the large animals. And if you, during celebration, choose the farm paper um, from the celebration catalog as your free item, the dies will even cut out the animals from this paper. Now you've got lots of choices here in this paper. We are using the kind of, I guess, tire tread type paper. I, we are using pigs, so I figured they needed some mud around them, so that was the muddy paper. Um, I wanted to make this a baby card, so I pulled out my Charming Sentiments bundle, and we are going to cut out that uh, babies are a blessing right here from the Charming Sentiments. Okay, well, let's get started. Let's make our little pig sty first, all right? We're going to get a soft suede uh, layering diorama. This is one of our dies in our annual catalog. They come in multiple sizes. Um, any size you want will work. I'm going to take my soft suede um, ink and a blending brush and just kind of go around the edges, adding some ink. I am rubbing the ink off on my grid paper first so that I don't get that harsh like bump there when I put my blending brush down. All right, now let's add some texture to it by taking our dark Stampin' Blend, Soft Suede Stampin' Blend, and just with a brush tip, flick some of that ink on there. All right, now we are going to use our dies, like I mentioned, to cut out our piggy. We're going to cut our piggies from this designer series paper. And um, I'm using my mini cut and embossed machine so this whole piece won't fit in there. So I'm just gonna cut it out like that. And then we wanna uh, cut out our sentiment while we have our little machine over here. So let's stamp that in soft suede. And the Charming Sentiments stamp uh, set has these coordinating dies, which I love because I will fussy cut words, uh, but I love when it has a die so they don't have to fussy cut them. Okay, so let's bring over the cut and emboss machine. I'm using the mini and I'm actually going to use some tape to get this, the words cut very closely. And so when I get them on here, I don't want this die to slip at all. So I'm gonna take some time to really center it, look at all the letters, make sure that they are centered on there as best that you can get them. And then I'm using post-it tape to hold those on. All right, this little mini boho machine, boho blue mini cut and emboss machine, that's the official name, is um, only available during celebration, which is, which is January and February, 2023. And it's a free item that you get in your starter kit. Um, the starter kit is $125. You get this free, beautiful mini machine as well as $175 of product of your choice for just $125. So if you like this machine and you want it, make sure you check out those details. All right, let's see how we did. There we go. Isn't that easier than fussy cutting? I do like to fussy cut, but Man, do I like it when there's a die. Okay, now one thing I wanna show you that I'm gonna to do to these pigs is you see how it cut out a white border around them? Let's bring the mud over here. And I just felt like that just didn't look right. So I'm gonna take my dark soft suede and I'm just gonna go around my pig. Now, do you have to do this? No, you do not. But it is going to take away that white border if that bothers you, all right? And it's very easy to do. And if you get any of the ink on your pig, it's just gonna look like mud, right? Because pigs are muddy. 
And this, now you could take your scissors and get real close and cut them out, but that's a lot of work. I think that's much harder to do than this. Look at that little baby, isn't he cute? All right, so I'm just carefully with the tip of the brush end, just going around. You might need your glasses, if you have glasses, which I do, and I did not get them, so my pig might be extra muddy. <laughs> because I can't really see. Okay, there we go. Now, let's check it out. Oh, I missed a spot right there. Look at that. Okay, so he's going to blend in. I got a little bit on my fingers. That's okay. If your fingers aren't inky, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> you're not stamping enough. All right, now let's take dimensionals. And look at him. He's plaid on the back. I love plaid and I love that pattern of that paper. So look how they just blended right into that mud. I love it. Okay, let's start putting our card together. We've got a Blushing Bride mat, okay? And a piece of that designer series paper, that free celebration farm paper. Now the measurements for this is gonna be over on my blog. So make sure you hop over there. There's a free PDF for you. That free PDF is gonna have the measurements and the supply list. For this card and two other uh, farm projects. Now I've got some crumb cake baker's twine and I'm going to wrap it around my, my little stack of paper here and I'm going to tie a bow right up here. See how it kind of crisscrossed? That's what you want it to do. And I think, let's see, I think I'm going to try to tie a knot first and then we'll do the bow. That actually did perfect on the first try. Look at that bow. It's my lucky day. I need to go buy some lottery tickets. Okay, <laughs> now let's get our little mud puddle. Did you think you would ever want a mud puddle for your card? Well, now you do. If you've got pigs, you gotta have a mud puddle. All right, I have punched a... Um, blushing bride heart and I'm going to put that right there and then we'll take our little babies are blessing and put that right there all right now we've got a soft suede card base and we're going to just put that whoops I'm getting crazy with the adhesive put that right here Well, let's, let's make it straight. It is a pig card, but we do want it to be straight. There we go. The soft suede blends into my tabletop. Now I've got a piece of white for the inside because it's a dark card. I only really put white inside my dark cards. Um, and I'm just gonna carry over that mud by splattering some of that onto the inside. Now you've got some stamps there as well that you could stamp some things if you wanted. Um, Maybe you're giving a gift card to somebody as a baby gift. You can take a piece of that cute designer series paper and adhere a strip across there and tuck the gift card in if you want. All right, lastly, I used the uh, In Color Opal Rounds on that one, but this time I'm going to use these. Um, they're called, oh, now I can't remember, the Subtle pearls. They're pinks and purples. I'll have it on the supply list for you. Okay, there you go. You know, you always need a baby card. You always know somebody's going to have a baby, and this is the perfect card. It could be for a boy or a girl. Okay, thanks for joining me. Click the link, hop back over to YouTube. Let me know if you have, hop back over to my blog, get that free PDF, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye.